Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're painfully close to leveling up tactical rifles and thus our Witch Doctor class, but we're also painfully broke. So the best way to start the day off is with some questing. We're also going to need to get ready for this week's construction project, so we'll have to do some generalized mining to stock up on materials. And with a little luck, we'll find enough to do to get the XP we need. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, guys, literally no time to waste because just as I started things up today, a seeker spawned out there. So we gotta take care of this guy. Who is that? Roger Harrett. I think it's best. What are you doing out there, Angel? That's, you're on the completely wrong side. That's ridiculous. All right, ready to go. Oh, the FC's down here. Hello there. No, no, no. Not supposed to be doing that. I'm lucky here. Okay, watch my back. Um, I might be able to level up my tactical assault rifle skill. Whoa, yes. I forgot about that happening. Also, Screamer's coming in. There we go, got him. Good. Nope, not enough for my assault rifle skill. Oh crap! Well, <laughs> maybe it will be. Whoa, by the end of the day today, I think hopefully we should be able to level up our class. Wow, that was a fast spider right there. Another Screamer over there, take her out. Oh, thanks guys. We good down here? Where was the Seeker when he died? Did he not? Oh, there it is right there. The Seeker loot bag. Oh, so good. And some explosive or shock immune remains. We got to check though and see what am I trying to kill now? Right, the shock immune zombies like that spider we just killed. So we're making some progress there. 40% and then we can unlock the black shield trader. Not sure. It, no, he's right here. He sells special armor and parts to build vehicles. Oh, and that reminds me that I need to actually, well, let's check on this first and nope, got it like a minute and a half left. Uh, I need to craft silencers, at least for me. And if possible, maybe a couple for our soldiers as well. There we go. And we've got the materials, plenty of them. So let's get like three of those for now. And um, do you think Angel will just be fixed when we come back? <laughs> do you think uh, she will just teleport onto the other side of the fence or do we gotta pick you up and set you back down? I don't have the answer to that. I'm also very, very poor. So the plan today is first gonna be to turn in our quest. I've got the Daring Adventurer glasses right here for that. And then we will get a quest and do the quest to raise some funds and get some loot. What are you guys shooting at? Is this a bandit raid? Oh yes, yes, I can see multiple bandits. Are they all around the front then? Oh, here we go. Oh, you stupid bandits. What is wrong with you guys? This is terrible. Suicide mission. All right, we got uh, Steppy Pooks number three with an absolute suicide charge on the base. Yeah, that was never gonna work. Wow, we're surrounded too. They were attacking from all sides, it looks like. Damn, I'm so close to leveling up my tactical rifle skill. <laughs> I'm really itching because if I level it up, even once, I can get the um, the Scar Light crafted. Man, if there was only like another horde of zombies that was coming in. Uh, anyway, we'll get there eventually. Let me grab the silencer and slap that on. In fact, who am I bringing with me today? Dank, it's just you and me today, I think. Follow me. And everybody else, I just wanna make sure that uh, you all have your regroup point here so that if anybody dies in the future, you're all gonna respawn somewhere around here where I need you to. Okay, there's the Warthog. And eventually, uh, the reason I need to go mining today is so that we can get the materials to build the backside of the ramp. In fact, before I leave, let me just get the automatic drawbridge crafting. There we go, reinforced, powered, automatic drawbridge takes 20 minutes, so get going on that. All right, there it is, nice. Oh, that's a two-seater too, it's perfect. I think I have a couple mods in here, yes. Particularly that fuel saver, because I'm sure this is not gonna be very easy on the fuel, so yes. Refuel, okay, it takes, takes 10,000, that's quite a lot. That's fair enough though, let's go, buddy. Oh, oh, it's so good. The question is, is it gonna be good in the wasteland at like going over these blocks and stuff? Oh yeah. Yep, way better than the cop car. Oh, we should probably stop by the farm today too and see how that's going. All right, here we go. Ooh, a generic DNA boost for a quest reward. I don't think I could turn that down. I can choose another as well. Probably gonna be, I'm gonna say herbal antibiotics of all things actually, because I eat lots of antibiotics. And a new quest for today. Well, I just found this one right here. Tier four clear at the, what was this called? The shelter? I've never been there before. So sure. All right, I'll meet you over at the shelter. All right, here we go. This is the place. All right, dang, you know, 
You don't really need to clear the whole area. Can you come back here, please? Here, you stay by the car. Stay where I'm standing. Let me know if anyone's coming up behind me like a gang of bandits or, you know, seekers or anything like that. All right, is this, uh, is this a front door kind of place or is there like a secret entrance here somewhere? Oh, it looks like a basement here, locked. Fire escape here, also locked and then broken. Nothing around back. Oh, the quest marker's right here. <laughs> That's probably nice if we find that first, huh? No honey there. And hit it. So yeah, this has got to be the area they want you to start in back here. All right, I hear lots of zombies in here. Oh, geez, there we go. All right, I've got the silencer, so I might well, I might be able to just sneak some kills in here. Hey, it's working good. I like it. Oh, there we go. Increased my skill with tactical rifles with that headshot there. And I think we're all clear here. Man, if you ever needed springs, this would be the place to go. And at this point, we just need to increase our... Well, actually, I think... I don't think it matters now. Here, I'm at... Oh no, you do, you do have to use the tactical rifle now to increase the witch doctor's skill, okay. Unless I can level this up and then I think I could probably use both. I'm gonna try and focus on leveling up my scythe now and hopefully that will allow me to level up my witch doctor class. Oh man, look, big open spaces. This is my kind of place here. I can just run around. Here, give me some Red Bull. I can fly around and gather up all the zombies together. And then if I can get, you know, five or ten kills in a row, and see if I'm leveling up the scythe skill. Okay, yes, I did pay attention that time, and I'm definitely leveling up my scythe skill still. So theoretically, if I can have my scythe skill and my tactical rifle skill at the same level, I can use both of them to upgrade my Witch Doctor class. All right, this level was clear. There must be some, like, offices or something. Ooh, cop. Hello there. Nice loot there too, wow. Oh, main loot, just like that. This place was super easy. Got some rooftop access here. Probably some birds up here, I would imagine. Birds and a few zombies. Oh, fire. Not really the bad kind of fire though, we should be fine. All right, got the rooftop all cleared up. I think there's a couple more zombies that are downstairs. Here we go. A little bit of extra loot down here too. Intelligence level nine. Oh, fire extinguisher, nice. Well, we're gonna have to do another tier four because it's uh, it's not even lunchtime yet and we're basically done here. We got, what do we got here? One more zombie? Who's in here? There's a whole other like side rooftop section just as an airdrop is coming into. Oh, I didn't even see this part back here. I see. Where'd that go anyway? Just straight to the west. We'll drop by and get that on our way back. Although I don't have the lucky looter glasses, I forgot them. I just brought the daring adventurer glasses with me. And that was it. Charisma level seven too, nice. Have a couple of beers to celebrate. All right, let's get this loot. Nothing too terribly special there. We did get a spiked hammer, which is one of those specialty hammer weapons. I believe we found one of those before. Oh, weapons bag here, almost missed it. Regular sledgehammer. Take the extra radiators for the brass to make more bullets. And yeah, we're good here. I'll take the easy way out, please. All right, Tank, come with me, let's go. I'm just gonna grab that uh, airdrop. I was thinking, you know, go home, get the glasses, head back out here, but I can't really be bothered. We're talking about a difference of 5% to the loot stage and out here in the pine biome that's like okay loot stage is 73 right now so we'd get like a whopping three or four points extra loot stage not exactly you know critical stuff who's that oh a bandit getting eaten by a wolf yeah i don't regret this pick for a vehicle at all this thing is nice it's fast it's smooth it, it's good off-road capability it sounds good Awesome. All right, what's in here? Holy crap, that's actually a lot of stuff. A farming bundle. Farming bundle number two. That's not the one with super corn in it. And the scrap armor bonus bundle will be good for selling. There's an interesting lump of dirt here. Is this anything uh, interesting? I was thinking a POI maybe, but uh, that's a POI. Is this a POI? There's a road going up to it. What's going on here? Dang, look out. All right, I gotta stash my stuff. I'm really encumbered right now. We got a survivor out here somewhere? Oh yeah, and he's getting ambushed by a whole bunch of zombies. Oh, I got you, buddy, don't worry. All right, whoa, looks like you can handle yourself, I guess, or maybe that was Dang, covering us. 
<laughs> He's having a great time. ND22Z0, are you the one making all these freaking seekers and robots? Holy crap. Oh my god, a wandering horde of all times. All right, dang, cover us. Okay, that was my... Not my sight skill. Oh crap, I'm really... Oh, these zombies in there, <laughs> they're running up on you. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, yes, first aid kit in and run, please. Yes, trying to level up. I'm so close to leveling up my sight skill. I've leveled up my sight skill, never mind. We're good. Now we can just focus on whatever to level up the witch doctor class. I My suspicion is that this is all a POI. It could be, anyway. I don't know. It might just be like a little tiny mine shaft, but I'm going down here to figure it all out. Wow, okay, it's a... Um, it's a mine. It's relatively big, it looks like. Oh yes, free mushrooms. Thank, we're, we're trying to do this quietly. Do you mind just maybe staying here for a second? Wow, there's mushrooms everywhere down here. Okay, we've entered, oh, a facility of some sort here. Oh crap, another one. Get out of here. Yes, this might be less of a mine and more of like a secret facility. This will probably tell the tale right here. What is this going up to? Hang on, lock and load. Oh, okay, just back up to another level up here. I'm rather close to the surface still, still, because I can hear uh, the ND22Z0 man upstairs shooting with the pipe rifle. Oh, this just goes to the loot. Okay, just a tier one loot then. Hopefully this doesn't collapse. All right, well, that was an interesting little find out here. Here's the reward this time. It's just going to be the magnum and the steel helmet for selling. Take a new job. Oh, I think there's a seeker outside. Great. Let's do... Oh, Lame Mart. Is Lame Mart the one in the wasteland? I think it is. Sounds good to me. Dank is trying to kill the seeker all by himself. Let me down here. Yeah, yeah, no, not, not next to the warthog. The thing is brand new. I wonder if the best way to like level up my skill is just like headshot like every single time. Just take my time and get the headshots. It's Dr. Henceforth again. There we go. And a seeker loot bag. Love it. Is there anything on his body? No, no, no. Yeah, we already knew that anyway. Okay, I think there's plenty of time today to do that mission. Then we'll drop our loot off after. And then we'll go do some mining throughout the night. I like to do my mining at night anyway. Oh, this is not the lame mart that I thought. I thought that was lame mart over there in the wasteland. There must be another lame mart over there. Either way, I'll meet you there. All right, here's the spot. I guess... <laughs> Dank wants to just roll straight in. Hang on, Dank. We gotta find, like, the front of the building and stuff. Then again, we've gotta kill zombies to level up, so... I'm... I'm game. Let's do this. The good old-fashioned double clear. For no reason, other than XP. Alright, we're mostly clear outside. I think the quest marker must be around the front there. It's, like, way, way over here in the corner. Dank, come with me. You kill a couple of these guys if you'd like. Not sure if you can shoot through the fence or not. He thinks he can. All right, anyway, let's hit it. We gotta do this all over again. All right, for this, we're gonna need some uh, express run speed. So, Red Bull and cough. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Get out of the inventory, holy crap. I'm having two button issues lately because I've been playing friggin' small land <laughs> and uh, Sons of the Forest too much and everything's different. All right, these are just bathrooms. Wow, that's a really, really small bathroom. These are... Unlocked, locked, and locked. Maybe this is the way in. So these are parts here, car parts that you can just pick up. Like I had to craft some of these in order to make the warthog. Uh, okay, this is just like a big mechanic. Why didn't we clear, clear this place out like yesterday before we made the warthog? Would have made life a lot easier. We're at 26% on the witch doctor leveling up thing. That's a hidden stash, wow, nice. Okay, I'm heading upstairs to I guess the office level. Whoa, jeez, Dank, you scared me. I thought you were a zombie. Oh, boy. Just found this, like, other area back here. Just get a couple sneak attacks in on these guys. Whoa. Oh, yes, I was going to say, that's got to be a rampage. That was four kill shots, headshots in a row. Here, let me out here. I'm on a rampage, and I'm going to try to continue it as long as I possibly can. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, hang on. Also, try not to die. There we go. That's good. And, oh, just run a little bit. And first aid, get me. I have broken my arm. Okay, so at this point, we've got to just go with the gun. Infected as well. Good thing I got those herbal antibiotics from Wrecked. 
Okay, yep, just continue pumping the first aid kit into me. Still on the rampage. Oh! Oh, radiation damage. I did get... A, oh, I have a Prussian glue, I think, in the car. And now it's giving us the indication that the zombies are underground somewhere. Yeah, that <laughs> got a little bit ahead of myself there. All right, it's telling me, is this where the zombies are? Somewhere down here. Oh yeah, I can hear them spawning in. Here we go. Rampage is over though. All right, was that it? Not it. There's still a zombie here somewhere. I can hear him. He's right behind this door. That's it, done. Where was the loot though? I don't think I ever found a main loot. I mean, there's sort of a main loot here. It's all just garage storage loot boxes. Just checking down below here and I don't see anything. And just tick nightfall, I don't know. There might be like a secret door in here somewhere. Stallion's Den made, um, uh, what's it called? Bob's Burgers and it, at Bob's Burgers, the loot is behind a wall. I'm sure it's here somewhere now that I think about it, but um, I don't know. I don't have all day to look for it, so that's fine. I guess it's just a bust. Not gonna get the loot. Whoa, kamikaze. Oh, nice job, buddy. Holy shit. I <laughs> just went on a casual rampage here. Oh my god, it's another working taxi. Give me that. I wish I could siphon the fuel out of it. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. What's the horn on this anyway? Oh, it's pretty good. All right, let's see what Rekt has for us this time. Probably nothing. Now, he does have a double pocket mod and uh, otherwise it would just be compound crossbow and steel shovel. So hold on a second, let me check my armor. I could definitely in fact use a double pocket mod for my gloves. So yeah, sure, I'll take that. And that compound crossbow is an upgrade for me and a job for later on. Got this Faber's Cafe by Z-Bark. That's definitely gonna be a good one. Before we head home, let's take a quick peek at the garden and see what's going on here. Okay, everything's growing. It's got another 10 minutes, so we'll have to check on it early, early in the morning to do the harvest. Everything up here probably not growing quite as well because we don't have the light system set up here yet, but uh, we'll get there. All right, this will be the first real test of going through some parts of the wasteland and see how well we do. Oh, so well. This is such an upgrade over the cop car. Love it. Okay, I just used the generic DNA boost to craft up a charisma boost. Inject that, that gave us, uh, I'd say, I don't know, about 20% into that skill. And I think I'll just use these rugged hardened chests here just for like sellable storage. All right, everything's put away. Let's grab up these couple of silencers and dank give you a silencer, except he's got a silencer on the M60 now. By the way, Angel is stuck out there. So gonna have to spend the money to bring you back inside. Okay, stop shooting the pistol, please. Oh, Legion's lost now. All right, secondary companion will be Razzle Dazzle today. So you can have a silencer. And then follow me, we're gonna go mining. All right, we have the auger. I think I'm just gonna use the auger tonight. We have plenty of fuel. Uh, the, the, the tools are repaired enough if we have to use them. We're fed, hydrated, the infection's treated, the fracture is treated. I think we're good to go for the night. Let's go guys. I think our first stop is gonna be to make a new coal mine. All right, I had a look at the map and this is what I came up with here. Let's just spin this around and get good visibility here because I'm gonna do like a big strip mine. I don't want to do the mine shaft because it's just been a death trap for me up until this point. So I'm just going to rip up. We need the clay anyway. So I'm going to rip up a huge strip of dirt here. Just get my soldiers posted up and let's get to work here. So my plan is to just rip off this humongous chunk of topsoil and expose the regular soil underneath it, which is a little bit easier to destroy. And then I'm just going to take a couple of smaller strips down to the stone layer. And then I'm going to additionally just start taking like stone and the sand right here and um, there's also a whole bunch of coal here. We'll just start ripping down into all this. Oh, and lucky me, this is nitrate and coal down here. Ha, <laughs> nice, I need both of these. Goodness, there's also iron. All right, that's it for the auger, and I think I'm pretty much good here. I just wanted like a, a you know, a jack of all trades mine down here where I can get stone, Everything's nice and open so I can get in and out without much issue. I can see who's coming. I think it'll work out better for us in the long run and we'll just continue opening this up. And how much did I get? I don't think I got very much because I was kind of focusing not on one thing, but on everything. So I think that'll do for now. The large rock is really what I was looking for there because we need to make cobblestone to make cobblestone cubes to get started on construction. Let's grab up the guys and head back. 
All right, everyone's put away, and I just remembered I have that um, radiation poisoning, so we're going to need to take one of these Prussian blue remedies to fix that. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, let's get cranking on resources then. All right, let's start off today by coming out here and doing a little bit of patchwork with all of the topsoil. I gathered enough soil today to make, like, I don't know, 2,000 <laughs> uh, topsoil blocks, so I th I'm making 500 right now. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, boy. And just as I'm doing this, we've got a cyborg coming after us. Oh, this is a cool looking cyborg. This is Alta Bullet Gamer <laughs> fighting against... I don't know who that was. Are you, um... Are you not hostile? Are you friendly? Ah! No! Oh, also, I'm hurting bad. Painkiller. You just got your bare hands, no weapon. Too easy. Oh, this was a... It said a black shield cyborg. Wow. So the black shields, they've been messing with things too. Typical humans just mucking around with everything. Yeah, I need to I need to try to patch this in. Not gonna be able to do it today. I've only got 70 of these topsoil blocks left, but um, eventually, eventually we'll do it and then we won't have to worry about it happening again after that. I think this is just where all the seekers spawn. All right, that's the best I can do for now. I do have 62. Oh crap, I missed a whole bunch over here. Oh geez, maybe I'm gonna jump up there. I'll have to jump up and grab the rest of them. But for now, while those are cooking, Let's uh, patch up some of the blocks that were broken last time, like this one right here. And I should actually, at this point, be able to pull resources still from the storages. Oh man, yeah, that's not looking good. Oh, okay, this this uh, this floor piece here definitely needs to be upgraded to concrete. And I'll leave that section there because I think what I'm going to do is run up there and see if I can get a grenade shoot made. Okay, these are also important. Needs to go up to steel so that we can then put these back on. All right, that's everything pretty much pretty well upgraded. We're just going to need more and more resources. So every week, every couple of days even, we're going to have to run down there and do some more work. And I'm pretty sure the blocks that are breaking up there are just from our people shooting at it. But I can't really think of a better block shape because... Eh, yeah, I mean, ideally, I would have selected something that's that, that can be shot through, but um, as far as maintaining the design aesthetic, we've got to roll with what we have here. If you could, Logan, could you maybe just go ahead out that. and uh, see just if you could you help repair the blocks in the area? That would be helpful. And then let's try to send some of these guys out Wait, mining. I haven't that. done that yet, just so I'm that. eager to see how much they can get for me. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes and see if it's worth it. Let's send... Hobie for potassium nitrate. That'll cost me $1,800 for 10 minutes. I'll send Razzle Dazzle out for some coal for 10 minutes, $1,800. And Dank, I'll send him out for some lead. And we'll just see how much we get out of that, see if it's going to be even worth it. Because if they come back with like 2000 and I'm having to pay like a dollar per lead, I don't think that's going to be worth it. That means I'm really poor again. <laughs> Maybe we should do a quick sell-off. I don't, I don't know. I really have enough stuff to sell off. Um, however, I should probably buy some extra skills if I could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's sell all this crap off. Right, what I really want... Oh, he's got better barter. And um, do I have the, the skill to learn that? I seemingly do not because we need level 8 in charisma. Crap. Honestly, we could get pretty close to it, though, if we just went out and did a couple more quests today. I wonder... Am I getting more Charisma XP for doing the level 4s, or should we just go into the Wasteland and do some level 1s? Do like a lightning round of missions. It's like 1500. I could probably crank out like at least 2, maybe 3 missions over there. I don't really have much else to do around here. Yeah, let's do that. Have a quick snack here. Some gumbo stew. Extra beer. And the soldiers are gone anyway. That should be fine. If I'm just doing level 1 quests, I shouldn't have to worry too, too much. Let's head over to Trader Jen, maybe. And get some jobs from her. All right, Trader Jen. Give me a couple of just like regular old clear jobs. Downtown strip number two. Oh, wait. She's giving me tier fours. Are, Hugh, are you also... Is everyone on the same page in terms of job tier? Oh, it looks like they are. I was expecting to get level... Tier level one quests off of these guys. Oh, I that's um that's super interesting. Because I, I didn't think that that was possible. I could just ask for previous tier jobs maybe do like let me just grab like two tier ones and see how much that increases our charisma skill all right i got three jobs okay looks like our first job they're all down to the south perfect all right in a nice cluster like that oh i'm one-shotting the blocks now nice i've got the minor 69er for it okay let's hit this i'm just kind of thinking too um we also 
We need to get level six in our class, so if we could finish that off today, I don't think we will. Oh, hello there. Nice rifle. Manny 21 Axe. Yeah, kind of a pipe dream to, to level up the class today, but once we do, we can start working toward the trade aura. And hopefully with our sweet 144 loot stage, even going through a tier one, we should get some good stuff. There we go, Spaz 12. I think loot bags are the best chance for good loot. Uh, here we go, main loot here. We still haven't cleared the area though? Who'd we miss? Somebody upstairs. Somebody with a pump shotgun outside. Nothing good in here. All right, just pay attention to the charisma bar. We'll see how much that increases. No, it increased a fair amount. Not too bad anyway. I don't get the impression that we'll be able to completely level up our charisma though by the end of the day. Not gonna stop me from trying though. Bandit, kill. Wow, I just plowed him over like into the next block. Come on, again, again. And I'll have that pump shotgun, please, to sell for $125. Ah, uh, here we go. We're here to do the bakery. I just heard a rather strange noise, and yeah, now I know why. Is it a werewolf? Holy Toledo, it's a werewolf! Oh my goodness, and a whole bunch of wolves to boot. Okay, yes, catch them on fire. Their fur is probably flammable, maybe. Oh boy! Wow, man, was not expecting massive werewolves today. Kenny D. I really don't know if this is helping. Seemingly it is. I that's, Is that a wayward echo? Kenny D is the big one. Oh boy, really wishing I had some soldiers with me today. Okay, you cannot destroy my vehicle, please. Oh, he's fighting zombies. Never mind. Ow. There's at least another couple of werewolves over there. All right, he's at 50%. Ah, burnt boy, get out of here, Cole. All right, he's distracted with the zombies now. Ow, crap, Cole, damn it. Cole, oh, that's a feral white. Sorry, I thought that was Cole again. <laughs> yep, come on guys, get out of here. Jeez, trying to fight freaking werewolves. Here we go, got a whole cluster over there. Take that, and that. Come on, maybe two more? Oh no, the grenades don't really do much at all. Oh, it hurts me, that's for sure. And something sprained. Here, give me a freaking Red Bull. All right, there we go, down. Oh, tell me you had something good on you. Nope, not really. Just a couple more stuck on the fence in there. Screamer here too. Oh, she's screaming. Well, maybe I am gonna level up my class today. It's going well at this rate. Armagus, the last werewolf. Oh, huge lag spike there, sorry about that. Okay, there's a... Massive bear over there too. Crap, on fire. Help. Here we go, toxic bear. We've got to take this guy out. Crap. <laughs> Can't see through him now. Oh boy. Got a good body block from yellow woman there. That's a feral cop too, with like a billion hit points. Okay, I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make my way through here. We're, we are gonna level up the witch doctor though. So tomorrow we can start working on the skateboarder zombies to, oh my goodness, wow to uh, get the trade aura, you know? Yeah. There we go, level six witch doctor. What is this, what is this? Oh. You can now craft and trade in two auras. Yeah, that, that, I was just talking about that. Oh man, this place is just filled with zombies for a tier one. This is my payback for the easy tier four we had earlier. Yeah, got zombies outside. I don't want to get pinned in there. This is the wandering horde of all times. Or just a random six zombies walking up from behind. Nope, that would be a wandering horde. Perfect timing, friends. Crap. The huge wandering horde, my god. I'm gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Holy cow, man. This is the hardest tier one I've ever done. All right, well. Oh, jeez. Nope, we're not done yet. Ah! Stop hurting me! Half the problem is just these, they, they respawn and then they walk in. Oh, they've got such good hearing too. Like, even though I'm using uh, melee and silencers, it's not good enough. Look at this massacre over here. Holy crap. I think there might also be, oh no, 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 no. 
not Mama Bubbles. Oh, fortunately, that was not the... Uh, Bubbles has like a special attack where they can spawn in more. Like a Feral can spawn in regulars. Regulars will spawn in the minis. It's uh, It can get out of hand real quick. But no, what I'm trying to do here is um, this. Because I know there's a bunch of people in there. And I know that this thing here collapses. I think, anyway. Here, let's just throw a grenade right straight in the face. Did that do anything? I don't think so. Open, open. There we go. That did it. Bring him outside. Don't want to get pinned in there. Just spend more time in the wasteland. It's really easy to level up here. All right, that... That was the quest, I think. Did we even start? I was thinking for a second, maybe we didn't even start the quest, but no. No, we did, and we're done. We got a little bit of time left. We can try the last one. The last one is a compo pack POI, so, you know, who knows what we're getting into there. All right, this is the spot. Whoa, look at that parking job. Sweet. Right, let's try to be quick about this place. See if I can snag an engine off this bus real fast. That cop seriously tried to spit at me from way over there. Holy crap. Oh, jeez, I've just woken up half the POI already. Ow, look out. Who's that? Bo, look out. Don't start a fire, please. Woo, ow, nope. I tried to get fancy on that one and I paid for it. All right, I'm pressing on here. Ooh, fire extinguishers. Good thing to find is there. Oh, I can't pick them up because they've been damaged. Nope, 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 no bubbles. Okay, got him before he spawned any more in. Officially nightfall. Should be okay here just to kill these last couple of zombies. Just go ahead and use all the 762. Not too concerned about it right now. Yellow boy. There's Creamy Ghost. Creamy Ghost has returned from the dead. Is that the last one? That was. That was it. Where's the loot? I gotta have something for my troubles here. Oh, maybe I don't get to have something for my travels. Some steel boots? That's not too bad. Maybe I should go through all this stuff. I'll go through this stuff until I get forced off by um, a zombie. Nope, oh, not strong enough. Oh, and when I leveled up in my class, I got the tier 4 skeleton warrior thing. So I have one of those in my inventory right now. Oh, <laughs> snake finding a zombie. And who, did, who started that fire? Was that you? How totally rude. Okay, we need red tea for the uh, carrying capacity bonus. Steel chest armor, steel helmet. Wow. Whoa, okay, yep. I think this is probably my cue. We need to get out of here. There's a whole bunch of cops now. Yes. Was this like a cop horn? Oh my God, the, whoever had the shotgun was definitely not friendly. I am out of here. We'll let the survivor handle this mess here. All right, I'm here for quest rewards. Can't possibly be anything too good. Basically just taking ammo and stuff to sell. All right, so here's the loot haul. Got a, almost a full set of steel armor and some military armor. I got the Spaz 12 again. Important note, so, oh, this gives us information about the two auras. So not, not only do we have the one, we gotta, please guys, really? Jeez, lay down some accurate fire for once. So yeah, we'll have to choose another one. I think I'm gonna go with the armor penetration aura. Oh, and of course, yes, we got the generic DNA boost. So I will take charisma with that. Craft the compound Z injection. Jam that into me and oh, we just gotta do like one more little tiny quest to get charisma level eight and then we can get the higher level of better barter. And for the perk book, I think I'll just take that better barter right now and get it out of the way. And we'll be able to read that probably tomorrow. And I guess might as well just do a really quick sell-off then because Briston might have some good skills for us to buy. Yeah, I'll take the minor 69er, lucky looter. And you know what? I'm just going to take the mother load even though we have the glasses for it just because it's so much more convenient to not have to remember the glasses. There we go. That puts us up to 10 in mother load, six in minor 69er. We do have seven in sexy T-Rex. We need to work more on dexterity probably. Pack Mule's doing pretty well. Healing Factor Iron Gut, helpful, but not exactly necessary. And we're doing pretty good on Charisma too. Probably need to focus a little bit more on Deep Cuts. That'll help us out with the Scythes. So now we've got the Trade Aura book, and I've got the Trade Aura mod. I think I just have to read this, and that unlocked the Trade Aura quest. Now we just have to start killing Skateboarder Zombies. And the more Skateboarder Zombies we kill, the better buying and selling power we will get. As long as, I believe, we need to be wearing this mod. 
Maybe we need to wear the mod when we're done, but I'll just slap it on something now so I don't forget it. All right, so for the rest of the night tonight, I'm gonna make sure that we're cranking away on resources. I'm gonna get some cobblestone cubes crafted and maybe even get some concrete shapes crafted. And we'll do a whole bunch of base construction first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.